So for today's Dragon Ball Legends video, I wanted to talk about the new upcoming Ultra Instinct Goku, and I wanted to talk about what I think they're going to wind up doing. Post down below what you guys think. Also, I will give some ideas, a few, for maybe some of the animations uh, and things that I think they could wind up doing. Post down below what you guys think, uh, what's going to wind up happening. So tomorrow we will be getting the official reveal of the Goku because they did move up the reveals and stuff. <laughs> they were going to they were gonna most likely do it on like Tuesday and then release the characters the same day. I'm not sure if the characters release on Saturday as well or, or anything like that. Friday, Saturday, I'm not sure if they do. Um, but they at, at worst, they come out early next week. So there's that. So if you're outside of the loop, there was a, a quote unquote leak for Ultra Instinct Goku, presumably the next upcoming Ultra. So there's that. Now, I wanted to talk all about that guy. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to jump over to we're going to talk about several teams and what they need, things like that. I'm going to jump over to, first and foremost, Universe Survival, because I think this is the easy one. Uh, when we look at this team, there are several characters that sit in within uh, multiple groupings. Now, the fun thing with this team is that he can be several different colors. It just kind of depends on whether he's ranged or if he's not, right? So if you look at it, the most recent release that this team got that's, you know, of note is this tag character and they are a ranged green and uh, reverse green character so naturally you'd say that they probably want to be alongside either a red or a yellow uh to get more value out of the color triangle right so i mean obviously they they probably want to be color countered but they can do that themselves so it just kind of depends also a, a sneaky versatile thing with having the reverse element on characters is you don't have to naturally adhere to the typical traditional colors for example purple red green um red green yellow you don't have to typically you know adhere to that because one character can cover multiple things so maybe it's a little bit more versatile anyway or not maybe but it is so anyway um yeah naturally you'd say probably one of those two things would be what you would want now yellow is kind of weird because they have really good characters i actually don't want to see yellow happen i mean this guy is perfectly fine he's brand new i don't want to see yellow happen i don't know why they keep trying to give this guy like pseudo equips but yeah that's not really a thing but they're giving him some they've got jiren too like i don't really want to see yellow get much of anything here uh because yellow is fine now red is interesting because red is the color i would personally like to see if it's specifically for this team and the thing about this team is there's not much red here. That's the point. So, like, you have Bergamo, and he's on your team, but that's not to be used, right? He's mainly just as a character that's uh, bench buffing your team. Casserole is a solid red, but he's also melee, and the team isn't melee-based now. Well, the best teams can go multiple ways. For example, this character is melee. And, you know, you can make an argument to make a, a mixed universe survival team between both, but the... The best teams have, uh, you know, iterations where they can go both ways, right? You can make an argument for Jiren on either side because he has a defense type. Typically, defense types skew a little bit more towards melee, while support types skew a little bit more towards blast-based focus and all that. But nonetheless, he's defense. He's fine. And then the only other red is this guy. Um, Zenkai Win. <laughs> Unique Win. So he's just kind of floating around with his mechanics that are still pretty broken, but he's definitely feeling the power creep. He does have those mechanics, like I said, that are broken. The auto win is so obnoxious. I still hate that so much. The counter is whatever. The auto win is like, bro, come on. So anyway, there's that. Red is the one I think. Now, if I look at God Key, God Key is kind of fun because they don't really need a red. However, if the character is ranged yet again, there's room for a ranged red, right? So there's that. Now, if you're building a team for God Key, it's going to wind up being very similar to the other team. Why? Because, the well, wouldn't you know it? The tag is here as well. So there's that. And maybe if you do that, you can have increased relevance for somebody like this character or this character. Speaking of God Key, it's kind of interesting because I wouldn't be surprised if this guy got a Zenkai announcement as well. So there's just a lot of different avenues. And if they did do the Zenkai announcement for this guy, that would I'm, I'm not really sure if that would mean that the main character is yellow and they're trying to match up colors for a Zenkai buffer or if they're trying to bring him to relevance or if they're trying to make him the melee based character for this team because they don't really have a yellow melee in which if that's the case, uh, I would not like to see red. <laughs> I would, I would, <laughs> red would be not good. Um, maybe maybe blue at that case would be in that case would be the color for this team if they're going to make the new Goku a, a um, melee character for this team specifically, maybe blue is the color. You could 
you could also do blue for this team. It wouldn't be the worst thing because, again, you've got a, a blue character here, but they're also purple, so it's it's whatever. Uh, you could do blue. Now, if we look at... Um, hmm. Again, it kind of just depends, but it, I guess if we look at Saiyan, Saiyan's kind of fun because normally I wouldn't consider Saiyan for a team like getting for I wouldn't consider the Saiyan team when it comes to releases of like these god characters or whatever because they're not really made to be used on these teams they're mainly meant to be used on like you know future or universe survival maybe fusion warrior and god key and that's it but I would say few you um but not really Saiyan but since they've been doing the game original stuff, they've been slowly buffing Saiyans. They also brought back this guy. Some of these strong characters do also have Saiyans abilities despite being more geared towards other teams. So Saiyan is slowly but surely becoming a better, more relevant team. And if they do drop another character for this grouping that can be used alongside these game originals or whatever the case is, not really because of any other reason than the fact they're all Saiyans, but nonetheless, if they do drop something like that, that could work out pretty well. And also red would be a solid color for this group as well. Uh, it's just more or less I wouldn't mind a red melee for this team. It's just you would probably still maybe maybe I don't want to say probably maybe potentially be better off still putting Vegito on the team in the lead. I'm not really sure he may not you know prove to be as good um, But nonetheless if that's the case, I wouldn't be surprised. So in terms of UI Goku I have a few fun things. I wanted to kind of mention First and foremost, is I, I didn't I didn't uh, I, I meant to do this, but I've just been so busy I didn't really sit back and um see where that art is specifically from if it's supposed to be like a mirror of this art specifically or if it's from a different scene and i would have had to go back back and watch the episodes i didn't have time for that uh so also i'm working solely off a of recollection but one thing i would like to see is i would like to see the spirit bomb represented as this guy's ultra and um ultra intro animation where they show the Goku with the spirit bomb and then he comes back as UI. I would like to see that a lot. Now, the fun thing is, I really think this UI Goku, I'm looking at a UI Goku, but I mean the upcoming one, not this guy. I really think that the, the upcoming one will have some fun stuff. I don't know if it'll be like original animations or uh, an original moveset. Maybe that's a little different than typical UI characters. I don't know if he'll be transforming. A transforming Ultra seems a little bit far-fetched. Uh, LF Ultra still seems a little bit far-fetched. I'm not sure that they have the technology fully built to do some of these things yet the way that I would like for them to do them. But, you know, I think they're going to probably put a little bit of spice on this. He's going to be a variation of the character probably that people aren't expecting. Uh, maybe he'll have some, some move set from or ability from like Super Saiyan God. Could you imagine if he's like Super Saiyan God Goku into, into UI or something? We don't even have a Transforming Ultra, by the way, uh, if I recall correctly. I don't think we do. Anyway, uh, could you imagine if he's got like just even if he's just UI Goku, but he's got like the fear it the 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 fear it the the finger spirit gun thing that Goku has, the Super Saiyan God Goku that we still don't have in this game because I hate Super Saiyan God Goku. Anyway, um, could you imagine if he did something like that, for example? So I think that they're going to do some fun stuff with him, but I really would like for him to have that as the baseline. Now, in terms of Goku. All the UI Gokus in the game have the auto dodge, and that will probably not be any different. Now, the thing is, the question is, what are they going to do with him? The most recent Super Saiyan, or not Super Saiyan, excuse me, Ultra Instinct Goku that they added into the game had that gauge as well, like I said. And here is exactly how it functioned. Uh, it's going to be right here. Evades will, all right, consumes 30% of the character's gauge to activate evades against the following enemy attack while sliding or standing still. Now, the... Omen Gokus don't have the counters. I'm not so sure if that's because this guy wasn't like in a premium time slot, but nonetheless, the Omen Gokus don't have the counter. So the only character we've seen with that counter hit back is the the fourth anniversary Goku. So I would not be surprised if the counter makes a return. There's a thematic reason why the Omen Gokus probably don't have that. It's because he hasn't, again, mastered Ultra Instinct, even though that Ultra Instinct is not really mastered, but whatever, not the point. <laughs> Um, anyway, I mean, it's not called Mastered, but also not literally Mastered because he gets better at it later on in the series. Okay, anyway, um, so nonetheless, I'm sure that's a thematic reason, but this is a game, so I would expect for that Goku, uh, trait to pop, pop back up on the upcoming Goku where he is able to do that as well. I don't know if I expect the auto win back. In fact, I'm hoping it doesn't because I really hate that mechanic. It's so stupid. Um, 
Anyway, the counter though, at least you can play around, things like that. But yeah, the other one, no. So I would expect for that to maybe come back. I would also expect the patented double cover change to come back as well. Um, this guy did not have that, so I'm not so sure if that was because he was like a transforming revive character and they were trying not to go overboard. It's also probably part of the reason he doesn't have that other mechanic too. There's a, probably a, lo a lot of reasons why this guy is the way he is. But nonetheless, yeah, the, the double cover change to come back where you can do it versus strikes or blasts as well. I, um, <laughs> could you imagine if it's like Broly? where Broly's got like the second or third best cover change style in the entire game where he just knocks back whatever he knocks your blues back into his blues because you imagine if they found a way to make Goku's uh cover change better than than the average double cover change maybe it actually like you know can can combo in on on other arts cards anything like that that would be broken as hell if he was able to like use a strike or something but no I meant like like Broly can on like blue cards and stuff like that that could be kind of interesting um, but nonetheless, that would be kind of cool. Now, I would also expect for him to probably have multiple uses of an ultimate. That's not something that we see very often. In fact, uh, on ultras, I think only what two of them can do more than one ultimate. So I would expect that to be a, a factor as well on him. So I'm looking at this Goku and the last thing I'll kind of say is I, out of the teams that I pulled up, I think that the most relevant team, and it's really not close, is Universe Survival Saga, just because the sheer amount of talent on this roster um, is very, very high, right? They've got all the best characters in the game, pretty much. They've got several, like, top five, top ten characters in this grouping, and they could slide in and be very strong. Now, I kind of talked about different colors and representation of different colors, and it really just boils down to whether the character winds up being... A specific focus that's what's going to really determine what color their character is and whether or not that's a problem right if it's a blue ranged character well i'm not going to love that because we have 17 but also i'm here to tell you first maybe they feel like it's time for 17 to maybe get replaced on this team i'm just i'm just gonna say it why i mean the dude's damn old it is what it is they always when a character gets really old they start trying to replace that character on a popular team like this so i wouldn't be surprised if that happened uh, but nonetheless, it's a possibility, but I wouldn't like it, right? So I, I think that this team is probably the most relevant one because they just have the most ready-made team possible. You, when you look at, like, God Key, for example, I'm not really going to pull back up Saiyan because it's still kind of whatever. But if, when you look at God Key, like, it just looks more impressive, right? Because you've got these ultras. You've got the best character from the other grouping that we just saw. You've got all this stuff that looks really, really strong here. But not a lot of this is actually all that usable anymore that's the point there's some solid zenkais like the vegeta and the goku are solid zenkais the goku is really good in particular the other ultra instinct goku um there's some revive stuff but he's kind of like you know same color as the new green the ultras are kind of the ultras range from lackluster to like good to lackluster right like several of these two of the four are kind of whatever and then one is pretty good and the other one's pretty great but you know it is what it is so the point is the other team's better and it's really not close so i would like for that character it, this is a fun thing i would like for that character coming out to be a character that the new upcoming goku that fits really well on both teams right and i kind of talked about all the colors and the typings and stuff and it's not really all that easy to find a character that fits well on both teams with the same typing and coloring that both teams could really use because they just have different things available to them so i'm gonna leave it up to you guys what do you think about the goku what do you expect post down below